I want us to continue our study concerning how that truth condemns false teaching. And we made the point on last time that there are false teachings that is being done throughout this world. And we pointed out the fact that there are those who are teaching that there are many ways to heaven. But when we looked at what the Bible had to say, we saw that that was not true. There's only one way to heaven, and that is through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And today we want to pick up with another point, and that is there are many people who feel like that the word of God is insufficient. That is, we need more than just God's word in order to know what God will have for us to be saved. But I want to point out the fact that that is not true. There are many people who use manuals. There are some who use catechism and discipline and other books to guide them in their worship and in their teaching. But that is simply not true. To say that we need some other book other than the Bible is false doctrine. And I want us to point out this morning how that it is false because the Bible teach otherwise. When we consider what the Bible says, First of all, in the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32, there the Bible tells us, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So what I need to know to be set free, what I need to know to make it to heaven, I can find it in the word of God. Now, in 1 Peter chapter 4, in verse 11, there Peter is speaking to those people. He said, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. In other words, if we're going to teach, preach, whatever, then we need to do it according to the word of God. So that means that if I speak or teach something other than the word of God, is that truth? Absolutely not. Then again, in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, and verse number 7 says, there the Bible says, speak my words unto them. God, in talking to Ezekiel, wanted Ezekiel to speak or to preach to the people. And he could not just teach or speak anything to them, but God told him to speak his words. Speak my word unto them, Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse number 7. Then again we have in the book of Acts chapter 8 and verse number 4. There we have where those people were scattered abroad. They were being persecuted. But yet and still, the Bible tells us that they went everywhere doing what? Preaching the word. They were not just teaching what they wanted or preach what they wanted. But the Bible says they went everywhere preaching the word. And then we have in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse number 4, there Paul encouraged Timothy to preach, but in verse 4 he says, preach the word. <coughs> Excuse me. Preach the word. And so Timothy was not instructed to preach whatever he wanted to preach. Paul encouraged him to preach the word. 
And then again, we find this. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 6 says, Notice, not to go beyond that which is written. Paul encouraged the Corinthians not to go beyond that which is written. And that is exactly what we do when we use manual and discipline in other books other than the Word of God. We go beyond that which is written. And also keep in mind as well that in many cases, a lot of the things that is in these manuals and the discipline and the catechisms contradict what the Bible says. Now, that ought to tell you something right there. If the Bible says one thing and then the manual and the discipline says something else, then what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe what the Bible says, the Word of God, or are you going to believe what's in the manual or the discipline or some other book? Well, we need to believe what's in the Bible. We can put our faith and we can put our trust and confidence in the Bible. The prophet said in Numbers chapter 22, in verse 18, Notice what this prophet says here. He says, I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord. Jesus said in Mark chapter 16 and verse 15, there him speaking unto his apostles, he told them to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He didn't say just go and just preach whatever you want to preach or teach whatever you wanted to teach, but they were to preach or teach the gospel. Well, why is that? Because according to Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, it is the gospel that saved. The power to save mankind is in the gospel. That's why they were encouraged to preach the gospel. In Matthew chapter 11 and verse number 5 says, The poor had the gospel preached unto them. What was preached to those, to the poor? The gospel. Because the gospel is God's power to save. The writer of Hebrews said in Hebrews chapter Four and verse number two, for unto us was the gospel preached. What was taught, what was preached? The gospel. Because it's the gospel that, that saved. Paul said in the book of Romans chapter one and verse 16, he says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Paul wasn't ashamed of it. Why? Because he says, he goes on to say, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Why would you be ashamed of that which can save your soul if you are obedient? You should be. Instead of being ashamed, you ought to be thankful and be rejoicing because God so loved this world enough to give his son to die on the cross so that you and I might be saved. And according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, that is what the gospel is all about. The death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Also, in the book of Philippians chapter 1 and verse 17, Paul says this as well. Concerning the God. He said, I am set for the defense of the gospel. He was set for the defense of the gospel. In other words, he was ready to defend the gospel. Not something that he felt or whatever, but he was ready to defend the gospel. And you and I need to have that same kind of attitude. Just defend the gospel. Stand up for the gospel. Preach the gospel. 
And if we preach the gospel, if we preach that which is truth, it will condemn false teaching every time. Also in the book of Luke, chapter 11 and verse 28 says, Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. So you can be blessed, you can be happy by keeping what? Not just anything, but by keeping the word of God. And in Proverbs chapter 30 and verse number 5 says, Every word of God is pure. So my friends, see how that truth will condemn false teaching every time. Whether people are teaching many ways, we know that the Bible said there's only one way. Whether people are teaching folks from other manuals and, and discipline and other books other than God's word, God's word condemn it every time. So, as human beings, as those who want to make it to heaven, let us strive each day of our lives to make sure that we know what the truth is. And in order to do that, we're going to have to spend some time in studying God's Word. Because it is the truth that will set you free. And if I can help and encourage you in any way in obeying the truth, then please let me know. I see that my time is gone, and I appreciate you for yours. Until next time, we bid you a pleasant good day. Gather all I need.